I'm Master Corporal Ryan Heffernan from Niagara Falls, Ontario. I'm an aerospace telecommunications and information systems technician based out of CFB Kingston at the Canadian Forces School of Communications and Electronics. And I'm Corporal Mike Robson from Ottawa, Ontario. I'm an aerospace telecommunications and information system technician serving at 8 Wing Trenton. If you're ready for a career in the constantly changing world of computers, satellites, radio and radar in a military environment, then this just could be what you're looking for. As far as I'm concerned, serving as an aerospace telecommunication and information systems technician, or ATIS Tech, is the most challenging high-tech trade in the Royal Canadian Air Force. ATIS Techs install, maintain and repair some of the most advanced military communications, radar and computer systems in the world. We support air bases themselves, we support operations both international and domestic. Pretty much anywhere you see electronics you'll see an ATIS technician. We're talking leading edge satellite communications and cloud computing networks, airborne and ground-based radar systems, portable airspace command and control hardware, streaming battle space video, hardwired telephone links, and remote airborne surveillance. Yeah, we're kind of your universal puzzle piece where you put us somewhere and we can pretty much fit in. Our skills are so diverse that we can just be put in an area, be familiar with equipment, and get it done. In command and control centers at home and on deployed operations from the Arctic to Asia and beyond, ATIS Techs deliver the essential skills that a modern military force depends on. Without the radio systems, the planes can't talk to the ground. Without the phone systems, we can't communicate between another base. Without networking systems, there's no data travel. You know, they all tie together, but without any of these systems, you know, where would we be? Travel is a big part of the life of an ATIS Tech. One week, you could be at our most isolated base up at Alert near the North Pole, deploying a transportable precision approach radar system. A week later, you could be on a field exercise in Western Canada or in Haiti helping people cope with a natural disaster or even deployed overseas in a combat environment, making sure that our F-18 pilots have a fail-safe backlink to their commanders. Whether you join the regular force or the reserve, serving Canada as an aerospace telecommunication and information systems technician is a great choice. We just don't work hard air, we work with the Army, we work with the Navy, we work with everyone. When you go to a place to fix things, people recognize an ATIS tech and they're like, wow, look, this guy can fix pretty much everything and throw anything at him and you can do it. From working a help desk in Afghanistan to working on complicated radar systems on an airfield. The best part of my job is when I get to travel. I've traveled to the North Pole a couple times. I've been to uh, Hawaii, uh, I've been to Australia. I've been to Africa, I've been to Afghanistan, uh, numerous domestic ops. To do a job that not very many other people can do. One guy can say I did computers, one guy can say yeah I did radar, one guy can say yeah I can hook up cables. I can say I've done it all. And I haven't just done it in Canada, I've done it overseas too. It's a very unique job. Nothing else really in the world can offer the same experiences. Even if you've got a solid IT or radio background, mastering the incredible variety of skills in the ATIS tech trade will take time and intense concentration. But you'll have some of the finest instructors in the world to work with. After your basic training, you'll spend nearly a year at the Canadian Forces School of Communications and Electronics in Kingston, Ontario. Your first semester is called POET, Performance Oriented Electronics Training. It lasts 23 weeks and covers the basics of circuitry, computer networking, radio transmission, power sources and much, much more. When you successfully complete POET, you'll move on to a 14-week apprenticeship also at Kingston. You'll sharpen your skills on circuit boards and switchboards, airfield radar and navigation systems, radio transmission and secure encrypted networks. By the time you leave Kingston as an ATIS Junior Apprentice, you'll have a range of knowledge and practical experience that no civilian training school can hope to match. And you'll be ready to use and advance your new skills in an Air Force setting. Your first posting will be to a base in Canada or on deployment with 8 Air Communications and Control Squadron or with a Tactical Control Radar Squadron overseas. Throughout your Air Force career, you'll have the opportunity to upgrade your skills as new computer and communication systems come online and there are advanced specialty training courses available in a wide range of fields from microwave communication to fiber optics and from airborne surveillance to management and leadership training. When I came into this position, I did not know anything about telephones or telephone systems or cell phone towers or um, anything like that. When I was put into this position, the military trained me and provided all the skills that I needed to really do it. When I was in Africa, I did. Uh, I was on deployment there, and I was the only ATIS tech in charge of setting up uh, uh, 
communications network for the people there. Uh, just being able to explore different countries and seeing where, you know, we live in Canada, so we're free, we have the opportunity to do whatever we want, but then to see other people who don't have that opportunity and for us to try and provide support for that was a big, was a big hit in my career. Joining the military completely changed my life, you know. Left where I originally lived, uh, put on the uniform, you know. Um, nothing really compares to it. You meet different people all the time. There's so many different types of people from across the country. You know, you get a lot of hands-on experience. Uh, you're not just sitting behind a desk. It's a fun job day to day.